and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the Algebra 1 concept of laws of exponents. This is standard A.11b in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 51 of the 2017 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So, we need to find an expression that's equivalent to, that's a pretty big one here. And I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of break this up into two sections. Let's deal with the 7x cubed squared. Let's deal with that first. And then we can deal with this x to the eighth, and then to the one half power. Okay, that's kind of interesting. So, what we're gonna deal with is, this is the, uh, power of a power. This is on your mathematics chart, your reference materials. It says that if you have a times to the m power, and take that whole expression to the n power, that's the same as a, and then m times n. So you end up multiplying both of those exponents. Right? And we can end up distributing this out. We can say, you know what, this is the same as 7 squared times x cubed squared. So we can just end up taking both of those terms and squaring them, okay? So seven squared, that's pretty easy, that's 49. And then this x cubed, and then take that to the second power, that's gonna be the same as this power of a power right here. So this is gonna be x, and then three times two, you're gonna take the, the cubed and the squared, which really that's just gonna end up being this whole thing is 49 x to the sixth. Okay, so we've got that one down. What do we do over here? Well, this is, uh, we need to keep up with the rational exponent. Okay, so we if we have a, then it ends up being a fraction, m to the n. Okay, what that is is that is a to the m power but then you take it to the n root. So it ends up turning into a square root, okay? I'm gonna take this as one term here. I'm gonna say x to the eighth. And so my numerator becomes my exponent. And then I take it like that and I say, all right, it's gonna to go to the square root. Normally we don't put the two there, but we can just leave it right there. All right, so how does that help us? Well, x to the eighth to the one power, that doesn't do anything, right? So this just becomes the square root of x to the eighth, okay? But you know what? We can go back from here. We can say from this form back into that. So we can say, all right, it's x. I'm gonna take this as my numerator. Then I'm gonna take that squared as my denominator. So really this is x to the eighth power divided by two. Okay, well we know what eight over two is, right? That is simply x to the fourth. All right, so this whole thing is simply just going to be x to the fourth power, okay? So what we end up having together is we've got this 49 x to the sixth and then x to the fourth, okay? So th this part comes from here and this part comes from here. Now, what, what do we do with the two different x's? Well, that's the last one we need to look at. And it's called the product of powers. And if you multiply two powers with the same base, so let's say you have a to the m times a to the n, that equals a times m plus n. You end up just adding those two exponents. And the key here is the base. So we're not gonna mess with the 49. 49 is just gonna stay right where it is. But we do have the same base of x, the big number. So I'm going to take my x to the 6 and x to the 4th. I'm just going to say x to the 6 plus 4. Because you end up adding those two when the two different bases are multiplied by each other as long as they're the same base. So it ends up being 49 times x to the 10th. And we do see it right there. We have a lot of different options to choose from. But we found it. The answer here is B.